Proteins are essential to your health, and because we cannot store them, we need to eat adequate amounts of protein every day. In this module, we discuss your protein requirements after bariatric surgery and look at some of the ways you'll be sure that you are reaching your protein goals with each meal. Your goal for protein after surgery is to get 70 to 80 grams in each day. Initially, the way you're going to be able to meet that goal is by drinking a protein supplement, and you'll start that protein supplement when you're discharged from the hospital. So you'll start drinking about two to three protein shakes a day until you're able to introduce more food. Now, protein sources of food are going to be things like fish and meat, chicken, eggs. Uh, your beans can also be a good protein source. But initially, you're going to start with eating one ounce portions of protein. So when you start shopping for protein supplements, there's a couple of things that you need to know about. Um, the first thing is that you want to look for a whey protein supplement. You want to avoid a collagen-based protein supplement. Collagen is not a complete protein, and so you can become malnourished very quickly after surgery if you're consuming a collagen-based protein. One of the very important things uh, after, after your surgery will be to make sure you're consuming enough protein. Um, and protein can come in a lot of different forms. Some are going to be easier for your body to digest and assimilate. And for that, uh, for that reason, we'll, we will generally recommend that you use a protein supplement that is going to be proteins that your body will be able to absorb more readily. Um, in addition to that, you'll want to try to make sure that as you, as you eat your meals that you consume the protein-rich foods first so that you don't fill up your stomach with uh, foods that don't have protein. Your body doesn't really have the ability to store protein other than you have protein in your muscles and, uh, and other tissues. So um, as, as opposed to sugars and fats, which you do have stores with protein, if you are not getting enough protein, then your body will begin to break down what we call lean body mass and that's uh, something we don't really want to happen because it can lead to muscle wasting, uh, atrophy, uh, loss of strength, a loss of stamina, um, and, and just uh, general fatigue. If the uh, protein uh, malnutrition becomes uh, rather advanced, it can affect other essential uh, functions in your body such as the immune system, uh, the the ability to repair tissue, healing wounds, and, and uh, uh, things like that. In terms of uh, monitoring for uh, protein deficiency or protein malnutrition, uh, this, the, early symptom, the earliest symptoms are going to be more along the lines of fatigue, maybe uh, hair shedding or hair breakage. Um, but um, the, the most important thing we can do is, is check levels. And so uh, if you feel that you're not getting enough protein in, then uh, it's easy enough to do some lab tests and kind of check uh, and see where you are. A few things that you need to know about protein supplements uh, when you are in the grocery store or when you're in a health food store is that they're not all created equal. Look at the label and find that you're getting at least 20 to 30 grams of protein per drink. You want something that's very concentrated with protein because your stomach is so small. You want to look at the total grams of carbohydrate and the total fat and make sure that those are both less than 10 grams because if those are high, that's going to stall your weight loss. And you'll find that there are a lot of products on the market, especially protein supplements that are made for muscle builders who need to gain weight. Bariatric patients don't. We want you to lose weight. Let's take a moment to review this module. You need 20 to 30 grams of protein in each meal. Use a whey protein supplement, not a collagen-based one. Your protein supplement should have less than 10 grams of fat and 10 grams of carbohydrate in each serving. Get into the habit of tracking your protein intake. If you are not sure if your protein supplement is adequate, please ask us. There are additional resources available for you to download if you would like more detailed information on this module. When you are ready to continue, use the menu on the left to select the next module.